one most important thing I always bring to my clients' attention is the W-4 withholding allowance. I see a lot of the people that they have a huge refund at the end of the year, which they seem to be so proud of it. And I'm telling them, you have a huge refund. Basically, you're lending money to the IRS interest-free. Right. You need to adjust those. You need to adjust those. Any money you have, you need to reach out to people like Mark to be able to help you invest those funds. You will get a much favorable return than what the IRS is paying you, which is zero. So I guess that ties back to what you said originally was the first thing that we should talk about is income and any changes to income. And knowing that, you can help guide someone on what their withholding should be on the on the W-4. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what is it? The, basically, the way it works is that you can direct the IRS to hold less or more money from your paycheck? Yes, depending on how much, how many allowance you want to put on the form. I mean, the more allowance you put, let's say you have a family of four. If you put in five or six allowance on the form, your tax withholding would be a lot less. Mm -hmm. So you want to be able to factor in your income how much tax you're going to be due at the end of the year, how much allowance the government should hold off on it. It doesn't have to be exact, but it, you don't want to be able to, at, at the end of the year, have a refund of five or $6,000. That right. does not make sense.